a bit of Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to a Barcelona news roundup today because once again we are snowed under with potential stories. Coming up in today's video is yet another new signing, another new acquisition this summer. We're going to be discussing all of that. Also a possible legend who's going to be returning to the club this summer in a coaching capacity and of course we are going to have the latest transfer news from Matthias de Ligt in what could be there, my final update on the Dutchman. It's all coming up. Sit right there. Let's do this. But first and foremost, if we do start there with our brand new signing coming into Barcelona B, we have officially signed Japanese youngster Hiroki Abe from J-League side Kashima Antlers. The young midfielder there will join Barcelona B for the coming campaign and he'll sign a contract there with the club for four seasons. His release clause stands at 40 million euros. That's while he's with Barcelona B, 40 million euros there. If he does get to the first team, that release clause will immediately increase to 100 million euros. And the transfer fee to bring in Abe will stand there at just 1.1 million euros there just to bring him in. That's not very expensive at all and that is certainly not going to be breaking the bank. We shouldn't have to take out any loans at all to finance this one. But of course this does come off the back just a few weeks ago now. We had the chance to sign another Japanese youngster in the form of Kubo who was once a Barcelona former La Masia player of course. We didn't choose to bring him back but we have now gone out and signed Abe. And I just wonder here, did we always want him or is this almost a retaliation? against Real Madrid to bring in our very own Japanese youngster. I don't really know and we won't find out but certainly here Abe arriving for a pretty cheap fee. And if we do just look at some background information here on that new signing Abe is a 20 year old wide midfielder who has only just turned 20 as well. He was 19 until June the 30th he then turned 20. He's still a very young player with so much still to learn so much still to gain. His preference is playing on the left hand side. He does like to play as a wide midfielder or as a very attack minded winger but he's quite flexible really, he can play right across the midfield, he's played on the right hand side for his country and also for his club and he's even played in a more central area and operated there in a more creative role down the middle if required. Abe arrives having been named as the best young player of the year in the Japanese league back in 2018 and that was something that Barcelona certainly made clear when they did announce his signing this summer and for Kashima Antlers, Abe made 79 appearances in total, which there is quite a lot considering his young age, quite a lot of appearances there in quite a short space of time, scoring 10 goals there from midfield and providing 7 assists in the process and Abe actually made his debut for the Japanese national side at senior level at Copa America this summer that was his very first appearance there for the Japanese side, where he featured in all three of Japan's matches in the tournament twice coming off the bench and with the starting role there in an attacking midfield role against Uruguay and Japan are said to be very excited here about this young man certainly somebody with a lot of potential a lot of potential talents and coming in here they're very very excited to see how he can progress, how he can grow, how he can improve at Barcelona, with a view there to their home Olympic Games in Tokyo 2020, where Abe is fully expected to feature in a starring role for his national side. So this is certainly going to be one to keep an eye on at Barcelona B level. He's going to be playing there next season, hopefully regularly, hopefully showcasing that talent with a view of reaching the first team in the future. Hopefully in time, our new Japanese youngster will prove to be a smart acquisition. But if we now move on to the return of a legend of the club returning here in a coaching capacity, I do now want to talk about the one and the only Victor Valdez, because there have been ongoing talks now for several weeks over the possibility of former Barcelona goalkeeper and legend Victor Valdez returning to the club this summer in a coaching capacity of some sort. We were trying to find a way to fit him in here to get his coaching career underway and starting off here at the club, of course, that he represented on so, so many occasions and to such a high level and according to MD that agreement between the club and Victor Valdez himself is now very very close indeed because they come out this morning MD in a big big article they've said here Valdez will return to the club as the coach of the juvenile A team which of course is the youth team at Barcelona which comes there just before Barcelona B so you've got Barcelona the first team Barca B then juvenile A which Valdez is sent to take over as their out and out coach MD say this afternoon that talks could be Included, and Valdez's return to Barcelona could be complete and I think to be honest that's exactly what we need at the club and I've been saying this for many many years really we need to get more former players and particularly players like Valdez players who are legends who've been here for a long long time they understand the culture they understand the philosophy you need to get them in and working from the inside because really they're getting down to a grassroots level they're influencing those around them with everything they've learned during their time at the club players there have been part of successful teams who've grown up here who can 
pass on all of that experience, all of that wisdom, all of that know-how to the younger generation. That's what you need at Barcelona. Players coming through, kids coming through with somebody there they can clearly look up to and really learn from and aspire to be really. And Valdez certainly is one of those people, one of those players, a great personality, a fantastic player, a pioneer really in the goalkeeping way of playing at Barcelona. And the player there who really came out and created this new style of playing out of the back and really, really gelling in that role. He was absolutely phenomenal there in blazing that trail at Barcelona. And Victor Valdez rejoining the club is certainly a step in the right direction. And all we can hope really is this is the start here of more former players returning, players of that ilk, of that quality, coming back and having a really positive influence. And before we do move on to the recent transfer news surrounding Matthias De Ligt, I do just want to talk here about Frankie Young and in particular his shirt number because the players are back in training today for the first time. They are out on the field, they were meeting each other, they are working with the ball and it was great really to see Antoine Griezmann out there, Frankie Young, Neto there, betting in with their new teammates, having a laugh, having a bit of banter of course. That's what goes on on the first day. Everybody very, very pleased to be back and hopefully working really, really hard. That's what we want to see there. Lots of happy faces but we want to see those happy faces at the end of the season. That's the most important thing and to get that, they've got to put the work in now and work really, really hard to be at their best. But just on Frankie de Jong, according to MD once again this morning, he is going to have the number 21 shirt. We've known that now for some time, hasn't been officially announced, but it is going to be very, very shortly. And I just want to say about this, because a lot of people are saying, well, de Jong shouldn't have demanded that shirt. He shouldn't have taken it there from Carlos Alenia. But it wasn't like that, because MD say, and they come out this morning, and they said that it was actually Alenia who went to de Jong. He understands the importance of the number 21, and it doesn't really mean all that much to Alenia. Yes, it was a number. Yes, it was the number that he has right now, but it doesn't really have any emotional impact there on Alenia. And he actually went to de Jong and he said, look, I know about this shirt. I know what it means to you, of course, and I want you to have it. I want you, if you want to take the shirt, you can have the number 21. And that was how it went down. So there was no malice there. There was no de Jong coming in, demanding that shirt or taking it from Alenia. It was simply a conversation there between the two where Alenia said, look, you can have the shirt. He'll now find another one and everything is absolutely fine. And hopefully we're going to be seeing those two players getting some serious minutes over the coming season. So much talent, so much quality, and really so much to be excited about. One player though who will not be in Barcelona training at any point this season or potentially in any coming season is looking to be Matthias Dillit because right now that one looks dead and buried because according once again to MD this morning who've really been out in force today on the transfer side and also on the club front they said basically that Barcelona made one last attempt to convince Dillit to actually sign here for Barcelona because Bartomeu apparently wanted to personally fly to Amsterdam once again in a very similar sort of way that he did with Frankie de Jong in the last moment there flying out closing the deal thrashing it out convincing him to join the Barcelona project but apparently that never ever took off because unlike with de Jong it was no use because Raiola stepped in and he said look if you're not willing to match the demands of Delict in full we want every single euro that we've currently got on the table with Juventus we want all of those demands met if you're not willing to do that don't even bother there to have a meeting and for that reason Barcelona took that no further. It's not going to happen now. De Ligt appears to be on his way to Juventus, where he's going to become the second highest donor there behind Cristiano Ronaldo. And reportedly, De Ligt is going to have in his contract a release clause worth 150 million euros. And I'm not really sure of the thinking behind that, because a lot of people are saying, well, it doesn't really matter if De Ligt has turned us down now, because further down the line, we can pay that release clause. But I just don't see that happening. I don't really see Barcelona, as crazy as we are, as crazy as these transfer windows have certainly been, I just don't really see us in the years to come spending 150 million euros on a defender. It doesn't really work that way. On forwards, on exciting players, on marketable players, you can go out there, you're going to spend big money. But on defenders, it doesn't really go that way. And I think there with Delict, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening now. I don't see us paying that release clause in the future. And especially since that release clause, according to reports, that's going to increase year upon year. So it may start at 150, but by the next year, it could go up more and more and more. And before long, it is completely and utterly unpayable. But there must have been a reason why he wanted that in the deal. Does he intend on moving on? Surely he should be fully focused and fully acceptant there that he wants to spend his time at Juventus. That's the club there that he's chosen to join. But with Barcelona, it's a no-go on Delict. 
he appears now to be out of reach. So that's the day's news there right now on Barcelona. But believe me, guys, there is so much to cover right now. I've got so many videos planned. There's so much news coming out. Every single minute there's something new. And I'm just trying my best here to keep you guys updated with everything that is going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support. All of your comments. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you coming back every single time to check out what's going on. That means a lot to me. And of course, for that reason, there will be more videos coming up very, very shortly. You can be sure of that. But until next time, as always, Vasca El Barça. Ooh.